Now, another thing I have on most of my systems is our light path video. So this I always like showing. So here's a picture of your laser combiner. So if you look over at your equipment rack next to your FD3000 microscope, you'll see this large black box. And this houses all of your lasers. So here is your 405 laser, 488, 561, and 640 lasers as an example. Your system might have a fifth or even a sixth laser as well. Um, and so all these lasers are powered up and they're shining on inside this box. And there is a, a device called an AOTF, Acoustic Optical Tunable Filter. And it's going to control how much laser goes into this fiber and then goes to the microscope, depending upon what we set the software to. Now over inside the confocal scan unit on the back of the microscope, the first thing that's gonna happen is those lasers are going to strike an excitation dichroic mirror here with a nice wheel that uh, automatically selects the best dichroic for you. So these mirrors are gonna reflect the laser to the sample, but allow all of the fluorescence emission to pass through the mirror and go to our detectors. So the laser is gonna go to our galvanometer scanner up to our sample. Our sample is gonna fluoresce, fluorescence comes back. Here is our scanner. This is the, um, the scanning mirrors that function to raster the laser left to right, top to bottom across the sample to acquire the image. Uh, just FYI, the confocal pinhole is located right about here within the system. So in case you're wondering, it's not pictured, but that's where it's located. And now we go to our detectors. So what is um, relatively new on the Olympus FP3000 is our new detection cascade. So this uh, assembly right here is our Olympus True Spectral System. And the True Spectral System works by having the, late, the fluorescence emission uh, strike this optic called a volume phase hologram, which then breaks the light into a rainbow or a spectrum. And this um, uh, lambda mirror here will then adjust where this spectrum is pointed towards our detector, our PMT, photomultiplier two. And so by adjusting the angle of our volume phase hologram and our lambda mirror, we're able to control where this rainbow of light is, is um, pointed at the detector. So we can move the rainbow left to right, back and forth. And we can also open and close the gate in front of the detector to, to decide how much of an individual color we want to detect. Now the system can be equipped with either two or four detectors. And so you'll see we can then have up to four lasers active at once and split that emission light to four different uh, detectors to detect four different colors all at the same time. So that's what's going on inside of the system. Now that true spectral setting where we pick the different colors you wanna see is done automatically when you select your dyes in the software, but you can also fine tune it as necessary to avoid autofluorescence or adjust for a new dye, et cetera.